Moving on to the Daily Yahoo for Friday, July 24th. Dr. Anthony Fauci throws wild first pitch during MLB's opening game. Dr. Anthony Fauci has made no secret of his baseball fandom, but it's probably a good thing there were no fans in the stands when he threw the first pitch of the season. Funny you should bring up the fact that there were no fans in the stands because at this particular game, there actually were some fans in the stands. Uh, there were his, Dr. Fauci's wife and some other dude, presumably a friend. And then after he threw out the pitch, they he proceeded to sit with his wife and his apparent friend and watch the game. That's, uh, you know, nobody else, nobody else in the country or the world gets to sit in the stands and watch a baseball game, except for Dr. Anthony Fauci. Does that seem right to you? <sighs> Meghan McCain pushes back on Mary Trump's tell-all. I don't like books like this. You're entirely entitled to your opinion, the president's niece told The View co-host. I think if you read the book, you see that I bring to the story my very deep experience with the, within the family. Okay. Ilhan Omar rips Rudy's reckless lie and Zuckerberg's dangerous disinformation. So Yahoo News cares what Ilhan Omar has to say. Under tremendous pressure and facing a well-funded Democratic primary challenger, freshman Congresswoman Ilhan Omar, Democrat, Minnesota, remains defiant. Over the past two years, she has emerged as a polarizing national figure, an inspiring member of the squad. Oh my goodness. Yeah, oh the squad, the squad is super inspiring. Of progressive activists and young people of color, blah blah blah. Inspiring. 15 injured after shooting outside Chicago funeral home. Yep. That was during a funeral for a shooting victim. When a person picks up a gun, we suffer as a city. Oh, yes. Transfer it all to the guns. Those battle guns. Said Chicago Mayor Lori Lightfoot. Musk promises giant contract for efficiently mined nickel. Elon Musk has a, plan, a plea for mining companies. Please mine more nickel. Tesla will give you a giant contract for a long period of time if you mine nickel efficiently and in an environmentally sensitive way, said Musk, chief executive officer of the electric car maker. Okay. Spain will fulfill labor reform plan, not lower pensions after EU deal, minister says. The Spanish government will fulfill its commitment to change the country's labor laws and will not lower public pensions after approval of the EU recovery fund earlier this week, Labor Minister Yolanda Diaz said on Wednesday. Diaz's comments echoed remarks by Foreign Minister Arancha so and somebody or other. Okay. Good for Spanish pensioners. Catch the highlights from All Markets Summit Extra. Stream the first event in our all-virtual Yahoo Finance All Markets Summit series on demand today. Featuring extra content and timely insights, tune in to learn about what's next for the economy from the brightest minds in business. Okay, whatever. Oh, Yahoo search. Oh, look, coronavirus is now trending at number one. I am sure... Kourtney Kardashian, ADA 30th Anniversary, Allison Brie, Casper Mattress, College Loans, Sabrina Carpenter, Elizabeth Henstridge, Logo Creator Free, Michael Douglas. Okay, moving on. It's the Daily Yahoo from yesterday, July 25th. Yes, July 25th. U.S. Supreme Court turns down church challenge to Nevada pand panic rules. The Supreme Court declined to lift a 50-person limit on religious services adopted by Nevada's Democratic governor in response to the coronavirus panic. I've heard very unhappy things about that. Trump 
and GOP ally, Trump GOP ally, vow Confederate base names won't change. President Donald Trump and a top Senate Republican are pushing Congress to preserve the names of military bases that honor Confederate generals, even though the House and Senate have overwhelmingly approved bills that rename them. Like him, Inhofe is not a believer in cancel culture. Inhofe, is that, that's the name of somebody? Okay. Well, cancel culture is bad. Let's not, let's not indulge it. And, I mean, changing the names of things like that probably should not necessarily be done on a federal level. It should be done on a local level. Anthropology's sales section is currently an extra 50% off. But hurry! From dreamy dresses to utility joggers, take a look at 10 of our favorite picks. From Yahoo Canada Style. What are you doing here in my newsletter? U.S. Coronavirus Update. What we have right now are essentially three New Yorks, says Dr. Burks. Dr. Burks is still out there? I haven't heard anything from her in a long time. Nobody talks about what she says. While it took 45 days to climb from 1 million and 2 million coronavirus cases in the United States, it took just only 16 days for infections to jump from 3 million to, as of Thursday, 4 million. How did that happen? Okay. And yet, I'm pretty sure deaths are still, like, going down, so... I mean, this is a good thing. Just get it over with. U.S. coronavirus deaths top 1,100 for a third day in a row. The United States on Thursday also passed a total of more than 4 million coronavirus infections since the first U.S. case was documented in January, according to a Reuters tally reflecting the nationwide escalation of the panic. Uh-huh. It just, look at the actual death rate. When you're dealing with such big numbers, especially with such a big number for total cases, alleged cases, the, uh, the actual rate of death, the number for that, should be being considered, should be m- important. But... No mention of it. Trio faced jail over PC Andrew Harper death as driver is cleared of murder. (sighs) Henry Long, 19, was acquitted of murder after admitting manslaughter along with two other teens. I don't know anything about this story. Eh. Simplified election coverage. No, thank you, Yahoo. Yahoo search. Oh, coronavirus at number one. Cheryl Burkoff, ADA 30th anniversary. Samantha Hoops. Natalie Emanuel, 2020 Subaru Crosstrek. Lin-Manuel Miranda. Anna Kendrick. Custom face masks. Aetna Dental Insurance. Okie dokie. Last of all, the daily Yahoo for today, July 26th. Kanye West apologizes to wife Kim Kardashian West on Twitter. I did not cover her. Kanye West has taken to Twitter to apologize to his wife Kim Kardashian West following a string of cryptic messages about her in the past few days. Apparently, he's been having some sort of bipolar episode. Elon Musk opens up about parenting son. Oh my goodness. I have no idea how to say that. She has a much bigger role than me. That is his baby mama. Is, are they married? I don't even know. When the kid gets older, there will be more of a role for me, Elon Musk said. Okay. There will never be another. Kathy Lee Gifford, President Trump, and more react to Regis Philbin's death. Yes, sad. What did he die of? 
Tributes for Regis Philbin poured in Saturday on social media from Kelly Ripa, President Trump, and more stars who worked with the legendary TV host. Poor Regis Philbin. Poor us for losing Regis Philbin. Trump's federal squad's steel leaf blower idea from Portland protest dads. Uh, that would be alleged dads. Protesters have been using garden tools to blast tear gas back at federal squads. Oh, so if they stole the idea from them, then maybe the tear gas is getting back to where it should be? Good. Tight security outside U.S. Chengdu consulate after China orders closure. Security was tight outside the U.S. consulate in the Chinese city of Chengdu on Saturday, as staff inside prepared to leave a day after China ordered it to close in response to a U.S. order for China to shut its consulate in Houston. Okay. Tit for tat. Airbus, hopefully they are able to get out of the country safely. I wouldn't feel very safe if I was them. Airbus moves to end 16 years of litigation, end U.S. tariffs. European plane maker Airbus says it is taking the last step to end 16 years of litigation with the United States at the World Trade Organization over subsidies. The manufacturer said it will end a system of financial support from France and Spain. That the something blah blah blah. Interesting. That's probably a good thing since Boeing won't let go of the whole Max debacle. Whatever that 737, I think, 737 Max. Yeah, they won't let go of that. They keep trying to make those. So, yeah, that's probably a good thing. ADA 30th anniversary. Today is the 30th anniversary of the Americans with Disabilities Act, the civil rights law that prohibits discrimination and protects equal access for people with disabilities. Check Yahoo's new series of stories featuring advocates and changemakers leading the fight for disability rights today. Okay, so you just said we have the Americans with Disabilities Act that prohibits discrimination and protects equal access for people with disabilities. So why is there a fight for disability rights today? That just sounds like unnecessary stuff. It sounds like probably people are getting, making money off of, off of like other people for not really doing anything. That's what that sounds like. What's hot Yahoo search? Oh, coronavirus number one again. It's, is this, this is what we're doing now? It's not going to be at number three anymore. It was at number three for weeks. Now it's going to be at number one again. All the time, huh? Conchata Farrell. ADA 30th anniversary. That you just talked about up there. Amanda Balionis. Men's Sperry Topsiders. Senior Citizen Apartments. Gwyneth Paltrow. Deanna Agron. George Clooney. Lendio PPP. Don't know what that is. All right, that's it for the Daily Yahoo.